I came to all three students again. We are going to perform today the oxidation reduction potentiometric titration, uh, which is experiment number six. All chemicals that we are going to use are well prepared, which are K2, CR207, 0.1 normal, H2, SO4, 1 molar, 90 milliliter, and a well weighed solid crystals of FeSO4 heptahydrated. It is 7H2O, you need it for your later on calculation of the molecular weight. We are going to use a potentiometer with a redox electrode. It is internally different than the electrode used in the acid-based potentiometric titration. So the potentiometer is giving us a potential instead, uh, instead of what it gave us in the last experiment, he, uh, it used to give us a pH value, but today it is giving a potential value. As every titration experiment, we need to fill the burette and to put our crystals in a beaker. So this titration will, in this titration, we'll be using a beaker instead of Erlenmeyer. It is for the only reason that we need to dip an electrode inside. So I put inside the FeSO4 crystals with an unknown weight. I will add 90 milliliter of H2SO4, one molar, 90 milliliter. I'm using a graduated cylinder because the volume will not be introduced into your calculation. To calculate later on, you will need only the mass and the molecular weight of the FeSO4 heptahydrated that I have added in the beaker. Now, as usual, we need to uh, fill the burette with the titrant, which is K2Cr207, 0 0.1 normal. We put a waste beaker and we rinse the burette with a little bit of our solution. one time and a second time with a few milliliters of our titrant we rinse the burette twice we fill till the mark or a little bit above the mark to adjust it later on We remove the funnel. We adjust the mark, okay. And we have to take care to the lower part of our burette. It should be filled with the solution. I remove the waste beaker. I put it aside. And now I put the beaker of the unknown weight of ferrous sulfate. I tilted. I insert a small magnet bar. I put the beaker at the center of the stirrer. Turn the stirrer on to dissolve the granules. I have now to remove the cap, the cover of the electrode. I put it aside and not, in order not to lose the a solution inside, which is a 3 molar KCL. I rinse the electrode with a lot of distilled water in a waste beaker. I dry it. And now after making sure that all the crystals has dissolved inside the beaker, I am allowed to introduce my electrode and to dip it inside the solution. I have to take care not to let the electrode touch the walls of my beaker 
and not the magnet bar also. I adjust the burette accordingly. And now I can start to record the potential values. This value is needed needed it is called the v0 it is the potential at a zero milliliter of the titrant so the potential is three four five point eight at zero milliliter of the potassium dichromate now i have to go 0 0.5 milliliter till 40 milliliter of the K2Cr207 and to record the values each time I add 0 0.5 milliliter. All the experiment is one titration. So I will start to add 0 0.5 milliliter and record the potential values. I count till 5 and I take the value. Again, I add 0 0.5 milliliter and I get the potential value. Two milliliters. I add, I count till five, then I take the value. Now, three milliliters. Five. Four milliliters. One, two, three. Four, five. Four point five milliliters. The potential is four hundred thirty nine point two, and so on. I continue all the table till I reach a volume of forty milliliter, where I will be sure that the titration is complete and I am done. We reach. 18.5 milliliters. I added one, two, three, four, five. I record the value. Nineteen. One, two, three, four, five. Nineteen point five. I record the value twenty five six. 
and 5 I have here a clear clear jump the value is jumping from 609 till 780 till 790 here I have to wait a little bit because the jump is very clear the potential has increased from 609 till 700 or till 900 I have to wait a little bit the value is jumping 800 the value is still increasing As you noticed before, the value was directly uh, stabilizing at a certain value, but now the value is increasing. Okay, it is almost stable. It is 800, 813, or 15.5. I will continue till 21 21 milliliters I have also to wait a little bit I am inside the jump the value is 800 28.1 then I go to 21.5 the value is still increasing to 800 34.5 then 22 milliliters the value is 800 it is clear that I am beyond the equivalency the equivalent point was clear at around 20 milliliter 840 22.5 now I can continue by using the first rhythm which is I add I count till 5 I take the value 23 milliliters 1 2 3 4 5 we reach 35 milliliter of the titrant if you look at the color of the solution it has changed from blue till the color of the titrant which is orange and the value is somehow stable I will continue till to take a value at 38 milliliters to continue the shape of your graph when you will draw it now I am 38 milliliters and the potential is 800 68.9 and then the last value of your titration and of your experiment is at 40 milliliter of K2Cr207 and the potential is 800 
70.1 and I am done with the experiment I turn the stirrer off I will remove the electrode and wash it I will reinsert the storage solution and the cover of the electrode to keep it safe till next usage okay I can now turn off my potentiometer and I have sure to empty the burette wash it with plenty of distilled water to remove all the solution because it is colored it will stain our burette and destroy it and I wash everything I put the glassware in its place from where I got it at the start of the experiment Okay. and I am done with the experiment the last thing is to show you the result on your uh, report sheet